probably Derek Taylor at Somerset, we can keep a batsman. Uh, it might come as a shock to you, but the Aussies didn't sledge me very often, if at all. Mm. You, don't, you don't sledge people if you want to wake them up. Uh, sledging is used when you think you can irritate someone. Not So I would never sledge someone like Steve Waugh uh, or Alan Border, because you just want to hope that they're just going to quietly get on with it and get out. Sledging is, uh, you know, some people think it's part and parcel of the game. It is part and parcel of the game, but uh, the Aussies never really gave me any very much stick at all. Um, well, it was always great rivalry, rivalry with myself and Viv. So uh, whenever I got Viv out, uh, I would celebrate. But believe me, he got me out once in uh, Trinidad in the test, and um, he celebrated a lot harder and stronger than I did. Believe me, he danced around me all the way to the pavilion. No, only superstition I ever had was I always put, and I still do it now. I always put my left sock and left shoe on before I do my right, and I used to do the same with cricket. So the pads, everything went on first on the left hand side. Um, I think I liked playing against the Australians of just a few years ago. Um, I thought they were a very good side. I did play against the best side that's ever played Test cricket, and that was the West Indian side of the 80s, 70s, 80s. Um, they, no one would have beaten them. Now, I know people say, uh, well, they didn't have a spinner. Well, when the hell was he going to bowl? So, um, so I played against them, but I think the side with Warren and McGrath, uh, either with Tubbs Taylor or would it be maybe Steve Waugh's side or Ricky Ponting's side, I'd like to have played against the more modern Australian side. Um, yeah. We always want the captain's wicket, don't we? If you get the captain's wicket, unless he's a bowler, then it doesn't count. But um, no, you always target the captain. So most captains uh, in world cricket are, are top order batsmen. Uh, so you go for them. I think if you walk outside now with the ashes on, everybody's playing cricket. And if England win, then you'll see 10 times, 100 times the people playing. Um, the problem is getting into the inner cities. And that we're trying to get around that with cage cricket, which is all coming out very short. Oh, there's been a few. Um, Mornay Morkel at the Oval walking into the groundsman's shed when he was been out instead of going up the stairs to the dressing room, walked straight into the groundsman's shed. That was quite interesting. Um, I think. Uh, so many, but that, that morning, M M Morkel, uh, that was that was extremely funny because the whole world watched him take his gloves off, put the bat arm, walk into the ground and stuff like this. So it was very funny. Um, what's he got to get? He's what's he about eleven thousand now? And Sachin was sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if he plays, if he wants, to, if his hunger stays and he wants to play that long, um, whether the guys get burnt out of it quicker now, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But technically, yeah, there's no reason why he shouldn't get very close to it if not past it. Um, well, well, I'd say Michael Holden because he was the quickest. But uh, no, I think that. Yeah, the commentary box is such a mixture. Um, we also complement each other in different ways. It's uh, we all play the game totally differently, um, and I think that's what makes it work because we all see it in, from a different angle. You know, I want to attack all the time, and then you get the other guys want to sit in the box a bit more. Then you get Lit Bumble who's barking mad. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a mixture. So it's. it's um, a little bit like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, really, to be honest. Well, the best tour was 86-7 of Australia when we were written off and we won everything. Every single competition. It was the America's Cup, where all the world sides were there for a 50-over competition. Won that at the end of the tour. 
And then before that there was the triangular series, we won that and we won the Ashes. So that was pretty remarkable, five and a quarter month tour.